Hello and welcome to this Fallout 4 settlement tour video. This is Extreme Wackazoid and today we are looking at Oberland Station. This is a PS4 version and I'm using a number of mods which are listed below. And if you're familiar with the space of Oberland Station, it is a station for a rail line. And um, so I wanted to uh, be kind of true to that concept of this space and I wanted it to look like the settlers just found some rail cars and uh, used those for their structures. And, um, you know, basically I wanted to, because there are rail car options within uh, your workshop, I wanted to actually use those for at least one of my settlements. And uh, so I'll give you a sense of the space and hopefully this will give you a few ideas of what you can do. And um, as you can see here, there is a uh, actual rail line that uh, goes down uh, this uh, uh, area in Oberland Station. And so uh, I decided to build a number of rail cars along that line so it looks like um, the settlers just found these rail cars and just used them practically where they stood uh, one thing um, you should know if you're deciding to build is that attackers seem to spawn kind of right over there and so what I did was I put uh, a number of turrets on the top of these rail cars uh, outside this to form a defense line barrier uh, so that they would attack um, attackers or defend against attackers coming from that area. And so what I have along these uh, this rail line is just some residences. Uh, so there's not much really to look at in here. There's just some beds and uh, these are doors that uh, close and open and um, these are um, wooden supports here underneath uh, so that uh, it's raised up uh, with um, I believe that's a warehouse uh, stairs getting up and in and so you should be able to go up and over uh, to that other side and so all of these right in here are the same type of uh, residences and then so I wanted it to go along the contours of this hill and so they're raised up accordingly with a little bit of space in between. So this is the higher point of the residence. And so with my settlements I typically just have room for seven or eight settlers. I like it to be kind of realistic to me as that it would be a small settlement. And so it's just an efficient number of farmers as well as four vendors that are housed here as well as a provisioner typically. <clears throat> One of the first things I decide when I build is where my uh, energy source will be. And right here it's uh, inside this. I typically like to build it up high. Right there it's not particularly high but one thing I definitely do is build a barrier around it because attackers will definitely go after your power source. And so this is the original structure that's here at Oberland Station. So I didn't do much with it except for just to scrap some stuff that was inside and actually left the bed there. And so I wanted it to look kind of like this square structure that is all kind of guarding uh, this garden um, that's inside. And so in here is like a latrine restroom area. So there's a sink, a toilet, and a shower. Uh, and they're going alongside this hill downhill so that um, it acts as kind of a proper sewage. And so this right here is a long rail car uh, going alongside um, with entrances, multiple entrances. Uh, inside and so those uh, this is where I have uh, a number of my vendors so these are tier 3 vendors um, and they have some kind of like file cabinet space behind them so it looks like uh, they are actually selling something I like for my settlers all to have the same kind of outfit I think it's good to kind of look like uh, creepy like maybe they're in some kind of cult or something and this is all outfits that have a ballistic weave 
and uh, hats that have ballistic weave as well for added protection. And with my clinic vendor, I like to give them a lab coat so it looks like they're an actual doctor. And here is a restaurant area. Uh, I like to put a restaurant area in my settlements because at the end of the day, the settlers will actually come and congregate here. They usually line up behind in line to this restaurant like they're buying food and then they sit at these park benches uh, to, um, it looks like they're drinking uh, glasses and eating food and things like that. And so uh, if I have the space, I like for the restaurants to look like they, uh, is a, it's a functioning kitchen. And so here's a cabinet and I use OC decorator to place these objects. So that's a hot plate with a coffee, um, and uh, oven here and a uh, refrigerator and then behind is a uh, cabinet space and a trash can and an Edotronic. And so with this there's kind of multiple different materials being used. There's a ramp going up um, with a metal um, roof and then lighting inside. And that is pretty much it with uh, Overland Station. Hopefully this will give you a couple ideas of what to do with the space. If you have any comments, go ahead and comment. And if you like what you see, then hit like and favorite the channel. Thank you.